This week on Thomas Talk, we take a look at the brand new Thomas Land that opened up in Edaville. Hello and welcome to Thomas Talk. This week we are going to be having a little look at the new Thomas Land that opened up in Massachusetts at Edaville, USA. Here to discuss that with me is Dan, who will be on this side of the screen in a little monitor, and we'll be cutting back and forth between some of the footage that he took from his own little video. So Dan was just kind of a, a rolling reporter, roving reporter. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about what you saw at Thomas Land US. Well, the thing that really stuck out to me was the structures. They were really well built, but I mean, the whole park was still a little bit under construction. Um, Napford Station wasn't entirely finished with like the lighting and the little weathering on the windows. But I mean, it was really nice. Like the live show was really cool to see and overall it was really fun. So Edaville is on a cranberry farm. I know in your video you do talk a little yeah. bit about uh, the involvement of cranberries and how you're Speaking not too thrilled about they it. They made an exclusive little wooden railway train about all the cranberries and that's all they talked about in the live show was all cranberries. It was ridiculous. So <laughs> What is, they do have a Thomas gift shop there. What is the yeah, selection like in there? Do they have a lot of exclusive Edaville stuff or is it mainly just what we've uh, seen before? They had a lot of exclusive merchandise. For example, this, this wooden railway thing as I showed, but um, they had a lot of shirts that were exclusive. Um, one of them being the best friend selfie one, which had um, female trains like Emily and Millie and then Thomas. <laughs> which I felt was pretty awkward for, for what Thomas is. Um, and then they had a truck shirt that said, Here Comes Trouble, which is referencing the ride. But I, I, I wish that came with my son. I would have bought it. So as a final verdict on the park, would you recommend it to anyone? And if you had to recommend it to anyone, what would you tell them about it? Um, I wouldn't exactly recommend it as of right now because they're still kind of working on it, but um, I would wait a few months because um, the Cranky Ride and the um, what's it, the Winston Ride, the Sky Ride, those are still being worked on. So once those get done, I would definitely recommend going. And um, it's really fun to explore like the buildings that they have there, and it's fun to go in the gift shops and their AC. So. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Dan, for coming on to Thomas yeah, Talk fun, and man. for taking this footage for us as a roving reporter. Uh, and hopefully one day, promise me, we will go to Thomas Land together. Yep, we have to. We will. We're going to make it happen. We will. Uh, anyways, so uh, this week's community question is, what is your favorite thing about the new Thomas Land America? Anyways. That is all for this episode of Thomas Talk. Thanks, Dan, for joining us, and we'll see you all next time.